beautiful day wow this was just fantastic i recommend this anybody that's in the area and um, it's a great start for my uh, my journey back uh, blazing speed of 33 miles an hour but uh, hey i enjoyed every minute of it it's about two and a half hours crossing the lake um, headwind coming in pretty bad so i just uh, added music to it so uh, enjoy and i'll see you on the other side the ferry late last night oh my gosh I had to weave my way through uh, Milwaukee which was uh, that was a job <laughs> you know how this works guys shut your eyes okay let's see oh my <laughs> god let's look at the date okay August 16th so I didn't uh, I didn't video getting off the uh, and it's the uh, Lake Express not the Badger the Badger runs further north it's a much bigger ship Hello and on behalf of our two captains and 60 crew members 
Welcome aboard the SS Ben. You've embarked on an exciting 60 mile, four hour cruise through time and history on a national historic landmark. A highway at sea connecting Highway 10 between Michigan and Wisconsin. At 410 feet and more than 6,000 tons, the Badger's the last coal fired passenger steamship in the United States. But uh, that route is uh, down uh, some issues with that, so it's not running. So I end up taking the the Lake Express, which was cool. What a great ride that was going across. I mean, that was a whole lot of fun. And uh, I didn't get uh, a video of inside... Uh, pulling out uh, there was just a big rush down there they had everybody go down there and strapping their bikes and uh, you know it's uh, they want to keep things moving and I forgot to turn on the camera so anyways um, yeah so I'm heading across Wisconsin going to and I'm on obviously on roads here I'm going to take the US 18 across I'm heading to Jefferson and to Madison. Where are you? Is that it? I think so. So the deal is, I need a front tire. Let's pull over there. I'll show you. It is time. Back tire is okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to worry about that right now. But the front... Uh, it's looking a little shabby on me. So what happens with this? I mean, it doesn't look bad. But it's going to wear fast now. You can see here, these centers flatten out. And square off. Now, I can go, I can go away shut. But... I'm going to have to really pay attention to it. When these things start to go, they go fast. And I noticed a couple of them were flattened out. Must be uh, on the other side. But anyways, so I have to kind of watch for uh, bigger, bigger cities, places that have... Uh, place to pick up a tire, so uh, I will uh, kind of be in a process of doing that. I'll keep it in mind, but uh, eventually I need to get to the beginning, which is way over here. I got a ways to go of the uh, Minnesota Trans America Trail, and the border. You can see it. it I got to get to this area here and make my way over to it so it's not a big deal but I got a few towns I can hit and try to get that tire because once I get into well maybe even La Crosse no it's too far north eh whatever but I gotta I gotta keep an eye for it I might as well get that tire taken care of off my mind before I get along the uh, Minnesota route so that's kind of the deal uh, what a beautiful day. Man, it's just gorgeous. So I'm really, uh, you know, I don't like the the back roads, but it, it it's okay. Anyways, guys, I, I, I got to get going, so uh, we'll see where, see where the day leads, uh, leads me, I was going to say, <laughs> leaves me. <laughs> where does it leave me? I don't know. <laughs> All right, see you later.
Hmm. There was a time that I would have taken that. Hey, check that out. Look what I found. Oh, baby. Just what I've been looking for, too. Oh, man. Cool. Somebody's loss is my gain. I've been looking for something to go with that boot. Remember that boot I got? Check it out. And the boot was right, and this is a left. Oh, baby. Oh, look at that. It's just my size. Got a little sand in it. Perfect. Another treasure. Another treasure. But I've changed my ways, guys. I'm going to leave it for some lucky guy to come and take that home with him. Yep, I changed my ways. No more treasures off the side of the road for Dan. Yeah, it's just sitting there for the taking, though. Whoa! <laughs> oh, it knocked me over. Oh, man, now I got traffic. You know what it is? I'm going to sit here and stare at that. That's a fine looking boot. And the temptation is just going to get me. I can't look at it no more. Yeah. Oh well. Back in the old days when I was younger, man, that would have been mine. Okay, come on guys. Let's move along. So... I was back at this little town somewhere, I don't know the name of it, and uh, I was at the uh, local uh, Batista, whatever, coffee shop, getting served my coffee from a uh, he, she, she, he, they, them, it thing. Not sure what it was, but the coffee was good. Uh, I got to get the pronouns right. Guys are going into a headwind. Bear with me. Anyways, let's shut the show. There we go. Anyways, so I got to use the uh, the all gender bathroom. And, uh, and that was all right, man. I I was a little confused. I don't know if I should stand up or sit down, though. You know. So I did both. Yeah. Uh, anyways. Well, hey, <laughs> oh boy, what can you say, you know? Uh, anyways, yeah, it's a beautiful day, got a bit of a headwind, uh, a little bit of bounce in the road there. Oh, by the way, by the way, the reason I stopped at this little, uh, you know, the end place, the little town's place to go, was to uh, order a front tire. Yeah, my yeah, dad went up there. And uh, so I, uh, I lined up a front. The guy's going to order it for me. I'm about two days out, maybe three at most. But um, it's, it's going to be in Minnesota along the Trans America Trail somewhere. I forgot the name of the town. And, uh, by the time I get there, yeah, I'm gonna be in bad shape. <laughs> these, uh, these roads, man, they just tear up these hobbies. But, uh, anyways, I just wanted to mention it to you and, and enjoy more of the, uh, the cornfields of uh, Wisconsin. You know, I found that as I got further west, I uh, got away from Milwaukee and 
even Madison, and I uh, got on the western part of the state. It really uh, changed. And, you know, I'm, I've been ragging on Wisconsin. I remember uh, back in episode 30. And, uh, you know, the Trans America Trail was fun down there and all that stuff. And I thought, man, I don't want to go up through Minnesota and Wisconsin. I'm like, crap, who wants to go to Wisconsin? I mean, uh, sorry, guys, from Wisconsin. I think I just lost some subscribers. <laughs> well, I think I spoke too soon on that. Wisconsin on the west western side of the state is quite beautiful. And I also know that the TWAT runs north-south through there. I don't think I expect any off-road, but uh, maybe that'd be nice. Nah, but hey, beach taking uh, main roads. I mean, even though the speed limit's 25, we won't be doing 25. I'm just weaving my way around. Trying to stay on the back roads. I'm in no hurry because I've got to wait for that tire. Hopefully Friday. But this is pretty. So I might have to slow it down now. It's it's quite a ways into um, uh, guessing. Could be. 80 miles once I get into um, Minnesota. I don't know. I got a ways to go to get there. So uh, I'm in no hurry. I'm enjoying the weather, all the green stuff, because it's not going to be long. I'm not going to have the green stuff no more. Yeah, I got memories of that. I gotta enjoy this stuff while I got it. And of course, more cornfields. All right, well, I'm gonna kick back and just relax and take it all in. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. I gotta tell you, man, this is uh, this has turned out to be really, really nice. This is beautiful part of Wisconsin here, and I noticed the further you get out away from Milwaukee, of course, and get uh, get west, I'm somewhere uh, west of the Dales. Look at that cornfield. I think it's massive. But, uh, yeah, pretty nice. Now, I'm th I don't know. The uh, TWAT, the twat comes running somewhere. I don't know. So here's a little map here. And uh, from north to south, you will see the, uh, the dark blue line where the Mississippi River comes through. And it's also the border between Wisconsin, Iowa, and further north would be Minnesota. Uh, the light blue would be the TWAT, and the yellow is the route that I took. And you can kind of look over uh, to your right there, and you'll see where I could have connected with the uh, uh, the TWAT and taken that across. Uh, but I um, I didn't have my SD card on me, so I failed to do that. I, I didn't bring the SD card for that, so I can't I can't. Uh, accurately tell you where that crosses. I'm doing a ripping a 30 miles an hour here, but you know something, this is just just having a good time. But the uh, the difference between uh, and I can only tell you by my experience the uh, the western part of uh, of Wisconsin is pretty nice.
tell you what. Let's stop and take a look at these tires. Let's just take a look. While we're admiring the cornfields. <laughs> On the roads all been on the road all day. They're starting to flat and I could tell the difference. There's some areas that are worse that we pull up. Yeah, like this one here. Now you could tell those flattened right out. So that's what I'm concerned about. Not really squared off yet, but... Anyways, I should be fine. I just keep an eye on them. Oh, you guys gotta hear this, come on. Oh, baby! Yeah. I know you guys like that. Okay, let's go. I don't know where I'm going to sleep tonight. I think I'll find something somewhere. And I haven't checked the weather lately. But I will. Maybe I can play a little music here. in Nebraska or in uh, Iowa what the heck they have cornfields everywhere man I tell you I think if you have a house it would really be cool to just just plant corn around. You don't need landscaping. I mean, what are you putting trees and bushes and flowers around your house for? Where are you guys, man? I plant corn. Yep. <laughs> 